Hey everyone, it is Bridget here from Bridget's Healthy Kitchen, hoping that this video or this live, if you're watching me live, it finds you well. I am excited. I'm back here in my kitchen. Um, for those of you who have been following along on my travels, you know that Mahe and I have been in lots and lots of places. Um, and it's, you know, we came back home on Friday and I think we've managed to sneak into the country just in time before we had all these travel restrictions. So it's amazing to be back. Feels really good to be back home. Mm. Feels amazing to be back in my kitchen as well. I just realized I've got my notifications on. Sorry guys, I'm just turning off my notifications on my on my phone. Because would you believe I actually film all this on my phone? So um, if you're watching me on your phone, I'm filming this on my phone just for you guys. And it's so good to have you joining me. Hi to Leslie. Hope you are well, my darling. Hope you're keeping safe and well and healthy. It's good to have you along. This is a really important little cooking class and I think it's the best way to start back. Um, when it comes to coming back live into the kitchen and doing something that is really good for our immune system, it's also incredibly good as an anti-inflammatory. And what we're making today is a wonderful homemade turmeric tea. Uh, whether you call it turmeric or turmeric, um, we all know exactly what turmeric is. It's the stuff that makes everything go bright yellow color. It also helps to flavor different types of curries and casseroles. As you know, it's a wonderful spice, but we're actually going to be using the turmeric root today because it is the most um, beneficial when it comes to what benefits that turmeric has for us because you know you can get turmeric powder which is the yellow stuff as you know which normally goes into curries um, but you can also buy this so this is turmeric root and uh, turmeric root you'll tend to find either in the refrigerated section of your um, veggie shop because it um, it does need it doesn't you know it does need a bit of refrigeration a little bit of looking after um, but sometimes if it's your veggie shop's got a high turnover and hi to coral as well kia ora no coral thank you for joining us um, so if you if you if you have a high turnover in your veggie shop you actually might find it next to the ginger or next to the shallots or garlic or something like that so this is what turmeric root looks like very similar to ginger which I have here as well. So that's what ginger looks like. This is young ginger, by the way, as you can see, hardly any skin on that bit of young ginger, but it looks very similar. It's kind of knobbly <laughs> and kind of a bit rough looking, you know, but it is incredibly good for us. So the reason we're making turmeric, turmeric tea and hi, hi to Muffin joining us from New Zealand. Thank you and welcome and to Stephanie as well. Hi, Marie. Guys, it's really good to see you. Let me tell you, it is, um, it has been a really, as we all know, it's been a really odd couple of months. Um, you know, it's just been weird and it's good to be back in my kitchen. There's a little bit of normality coming back to our house. Um, so it's really good. Hi, Francis. It's really good to be back at home. And yeah, our son, Mace, he's literally sitting across from me on the couch right now. Um, still, you know, leg up, still, still a sick boy, but He's safe now and he's at home, which is amazing. And so yeah, it's been a bit of an odd couple of days, so or a couple of months. So it's good to be back home to see all your lovely faces as well. Oh, hi, Christine. You have turmeric growing in your garden. You are an absolute champion because this is the sort of stuff that's going to help to keep us well. It's going to help um, to keep our immune system high. And it's just one of those really awesome teas or drinks that you can have set up in your fridge ready to go. So um, the reason why we're doing turmeric tea is because of all I'm saying, all those wonderful properties that, it's had, that it has. Number one, it has um, this compound in it known as curcumin. Now it's the curcumin in here which makes it a really potent little, little, little guy or little girl, little, little turmeric root. It's that curcumin that makes it really potent. So the curcumin is what gives us those wonderful anti-inflammatory properties. So if someone has arthritis, or if someone has, um, you know, things where they, they do find they get inflamed in their joints, turmeric, and especially raw turmeric as opposed to powdered, is really, really good for you. It is also incredibly good for boosting your immune system. And right now we need to boost our immune system in any way that we can. And this is a tea that you can have that is gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free. If you are fasting along with me and Mahe, because we're doing the gut fast plan we started today, this will also not break your fast, which is really good. So you can drink it during your fasting period. And uh, thank you, Marie. Yes, our son is getting a lot better. He's, he's really on the mend. Um, he's, he's walking around on crutches now, which is good too. So all good there. So um, when it comes to that gut healing, 
a potential that this little turmeric root has. When we're talking about our gut, did you guys know that 70 to 80 percent of, um, of our immune system or our immune fighting properties is created in our gut? So when our gut is healthy, our immune system is naturally going to be higher. And I think about where I was, say, two years ago, um, I wouldn't have been in such a great position as I am now because I was nowhere near as healthy. My immune system was virtually non-existent. I had underlying health conditions that came along with um, being overweight and having a really bad diet and you know being depressed. I had no energy. So you know, I think about where I am now and the difference that eating healthy has made for me to be able to look after my family and stay healthy while we're doing our traveling for work as well. So this tea is going to help you with your immune system. It's going to help you because it's an anti-inflammatory. It's also a powerful antioxidant, which means it goes around and fights diseases. All those things made up in the tea and it's really easy to make, which is nice. So let's get into the tea. Now this, this turmeric tea, of course, I'm going to be using turmeric, but I'm also going to be using that wonderful ginger root that you saw as well. So come on down to my bench. I've been waiting to say that for such a long time. Come on down to my bench. Let's see what I've got going on here. So I've got a few things on the go here. Um, the first thing I have here is just the pot of water. It is not even simmering. It is literally, and this was filtered water that I'm using. I have 1,200 mils, so just over a litre. And this will make enough tea, probably for about just, just over a litre of tea. So this is a really good amount. Four, five, six cups of tea that you can have sit, just sitting in the fridge. So our 1,200 mils of water goes in there, which is just about 2.2 pints if you're doing it in the, in the Imperial. That water, I have, like I said, it's not even simmering. It is just literally heating through. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some tea bags. And the tea bags that I have here, and you can choose which tea that you want, but because I'm doing a turmeric tea, I'm going to go with flavors that will, um, that will definitely work with turmeric, and that is lemon and ginger. So I have some tea bags here, organic lemon and ginger, and I'm putting four tea bags into my pot. Remember my pot of not boiling, just simmering water. You do not want to let it come to the boil. Really, really important that we just let this tick over. We allow the flavors to come out of um, the ingredients that we're putting in. If we boil it, think of it like this. If it boils, it spoils. So you don't want to bring it to the boil. You definitely want it just to allow it to simmer. So tea bag is in there. We next need to think about our root of turmeric. I definitely am not going to peel that because that is just an absolute waste. I'm going to go straight to my little mini grater here also known as a microplane putting that straight over the pot because the thing about turmeric and in fact i'm going to go get some gloves just in case because the thing about turmeric is as you know it stains really really easily so easily in fact i know it's not very often that you see me putting gloves on right and you notice i'm wearing black today for a reason because i'm dealing with turmeric so if you've got gloves I definitely suggest that you put them on, even though we're going to be touching the turmeric. We're not going to be touching the turmeric very much. And in fact, um, very, very little indeed, because I'm going to grate it straight into the pot, which I also suggest you do. So I'm just taking up my little microplane. I'm just going to grate it across the top there. You see it really easily grates down. And what, how much you're looking to put in here is approximately two tablespoons of grated turmeric root. And I say approximately, because if you've got a little bit more, a little bit less, that's absolutely fine. If you're looking at it from, from look at the color of that, now that I've grated into it, you're grating about that much or about a thumb's length of turmeric is gonna go into there, which will works out to be around about two tablespoons of freshly grated. But I, I literally don't even want to grate it onto the board because it will stain the board and you. But like I said, it's not very often you see me putting on gloves. This is one of those times. Now, if you can't get fresh turmeric, you can use powdered turmeric. Um, I would suggest you start off with a tablespoon. Taste it, and if, it can, if you can do with a bit more, you might just add another teaspoon. But you don't want to add too much because the powdered stuff is so different from the fresh stuff. You'll notice the flavor's different, the color's different, definitely. Um, so you just want to go a bit careful. So that's like that now. The best way to store that is just to wrap that into a, in a, a little uh, wet paper towel and store that in the fridge. And that'll, that'll last for quite a, quite a bit of time. And then you can use that, obviously, to make more tea. Or you can use that 
in your curries or in your stews or whatever it is just to give it some flavor and give it some goodness so the next thing I want to add is our ginger I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did with the turmeric I'm just going to grate it straight over the top so easy to do it this way and the reason why ginger is so wonderful in this tea is yes the flavor is incredible as you know the flavor of fresh ginger is amazing and because this is young ginger it's even it's not as um, spicy as the older ginger I just love it and the same it's about the same amount of turmeric to ginger about about two tablespoons or about a thumb's length of ginger you want to grate straight into there and the other good thing about ginger just like our turmeric it's anti-inflammatory which is wonderful so it's going to help with joints and arthritis and and just keeping you generally well but it also is amazingly good at gut healing so it's going to work on our immune system as well the ginger is going to give that tea just the most gorgeous gorgeous flavor possible and what we're creating now you know, we're almost there it's that easy is this amazingly not just scented uh, scented tea but flavorsome tea and the smell that's coming off that now is already just absolutely marvelous there's not much more left to do apart from I'm gonna add some lemon in there so I've just got this um, this organic lemon if you've got a lemon tree hallelujah go and pick yourself up a lemon give it a bit of a squish on the bench first that's gonna help the the um, juice to easily extract and then taking up my peeler I'm actually all I want from this part here is I just want the the, um, the skin or the zest so the easiest way to do it is literally take your peeler and what you'll find when you peel it, I'll show you, is you get, you know, just this really nice thin strip. It's so much easier than using a knife. So just peel the lemon straight into the pot. Just like that. You don't want too much white stuff because it's the white stuff that will make it bitter. Hence why this little peeler trick is really, really, really good. So once that the peels in there, look, the water has still has not come to the ball. I'm doing all of this on medium to low. So closer to low than medium. So um, if it starts to bubble, just turn the heat down. Remember, if it boils, it will spoil. So cutting our lemon in half, we're gonna extract some of the juice out of there as well. And lemon, as you know, once again, very fortifying. The combination of turmeric, le uh, lemon and ginger is also really, really fabulous. So definitely, Extract as much juice as your out of your lemon as you possibly can. Flavor, flavor, flavor. That's what it's all about. And then I'm gonna take in this little container here. I have some cinnamon quills and I have some star and uh, some cloves, but I'm just after a bit of cinnamon. So one cinnamon quill can go in there. If you don't have cinnamon quills, you could put half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder works really well in the tea as well but if you've got the quill it's definitely a nicer way to extract flavor from that and this is kind of it this is all there is to it would you believe it is that simple to make so this whole process now is that we're heating it and we're extracting all the goodness from the turmeric the ginger and the tea and the lemon that's all going into there you could um, in fact if you wanted to change the spices up and there's nothing stopping you from adding star anise there's nothing stopping you from adding cloves in there because all those flavors work really well. The last, I need one more thing that we need to add, and that is, would you believe, a bit of black pepper. Black pepper is um, really necessary. I just want to do a couple of grinds, and yes, it's going to make it a little bit spicy, so just, just go carefully. But it's black pepper that's actually going to help the curcumin or the, or the potential properties from the curcumin. curcumin being available in your body so the pepper is actually a really important part and you're looking at probably about half a teaspoon or maybe not even that much a third of a teaspoon of finely ground black pepper you don't want big grinds because it'll just be really peppery we want the pepper to go throughout the tea and help that curcumin to be bioavailable in your body which is really important and that is literally it I would leave this normally just simmering away here just extracting all that those flavors for about another 10 minutes and then I'll just let that cool so once it has cooled in the pot with everything in there I then strain it into a jar a glass jar and that's what the tea looks like so you have even when you strain it and I use a fine sieve to strain it but I don't throw away all the bits of ginger and 
turmeric there from my grater, I leave them in because they just keep on flavoring as it's going. You can sort of see it's a, the, the little bits of ginger and turmeric still floating around there. I do discard the tea bags. I do discard the lemon peel, but I don't discard those wonderful bits of the turmeric and the ginger. Leave those in there, really, really good. Now this will last in your fridge for weeks. Like you don't have to worry about it going off because it's literally just, you know, you've seen the ingredients, it's not gonna go off. And you said, this will last in your fridge for weeks. And when you're ready to drink your tea, um, you can either, you can actually have it cold too if you wanted to, if, you're, if you want to have it cold. But if you want to have it warm, just heat it up just how we're doing here. You don't want to bring it to the boil. And once you have it nice and hot, but not boiling, nice and hot, what I would then do is, um, if you want to, and I suggest you do, because once again it makes it really, really gut healing, is what I like to do with my tea is take up my cup and then add in a teaspoon or two of inulin powder. Goes into the bottom of the cup. So what we're now adding is we're adding a little bit of sweetness to it, of course, which is really important. But we are also, we are also um, making sure that this becomes a wonderful prebiotic, gut healthy. And remember, all of the properties that come from being positively, powerfully immune boosting gets created in our gut. So the inulin is gonna help to look after your gut, as well as the turmeric, providing all these amazing immune boosting and anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. And it tastes really, really, really good. As you, I mean, look at it, doesn't it even, it looks fantastic and it tastes really, really good. So um, I actually made this for my mother-in-law this morning. Uh, she woke up with some inflammation in, in her leg. She's actually at the doctor's office right now. Um, so I made this for my mother-in-law this morning and for you guys because it's kind of like two bites of the cherry, right? She's got inflammation in her, in the, her, the, her lower leg, which we're checking on now. Um, but also, you know, I want to boost up her immune system as well, just because right now this is what we all need to be doing. So we need to be thinking about our health on a whole new level. We need to be thinking about our, our immune system and being healthy because, you know, it's, it's one thing for us to be okay, but we don't want to then go out and negatively impact and infect other people as well. So that's why for me, something like this is going to become almost like a tonic that we drink, a nice tea that we drink, you know, every single day with that bit of inulin powder in there, which is going to help to heal our gut. And it's great because, yes, if you are doing, with me right now, the gut fast plan. So this is um, my stage two gut fast meal plan, which Mahe, myself, my mother-in-law, and Coco, our 18-year-old, we all started it today, Monday morning. Um, this tea will not break your fast because the gut fast meal plan that we're doing is once again it's immune boosting it is really really good for um for weight loss but it's also amazing for healing healing ailments and healing your gut so we're all doing this gut fast meal plan today which we started and this tea is not going to break our fast which is good because the gut fast plan is about gut health and it's about intermittent fasting as well if you want to join us you still have time to join us you can start anytime we're doing it for 28 days um you just got to go to gutfast.com get your copy of the meal plan and all the recipes are in the yellow book every all the recipes are in bridget's healthy kitchen um plus there are bonus recipes in the gut fast plan as well i am super excited to see how this all plays out i have um spent the morning i spent yesterday sorry making those which is the fudge brownie balls which we get to have one of very very soon so it's all very exciting and we had a beef pot roast today which was just delicious and tonight we're having fish and chips yay really delicious as well so i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward also to just eat, you know drinking this tea and enjoying this tea i'm also amazingly looking forward to spending more time with you guys because i'm on quarantine i we are we are self-isolated myself and mahi because we've been traveling so we're 14 days we're this is day three now um of our self-isolation so yeah you're gonna see a lot of me <laughs> I guess there could be lots of videos coming your way. So thank you for joining me today. Um, if you can get out to the store and get yourself some fresh turmeric, please do. If not, remember you can use powdered turmeric. Just go easy with your quantities. You probably want to start with elite, um, with a tablespoon. Have a taste and see what happens from there. I'm just reading Anna's, Anna's uh, note. I binge on this type of tea on a work trip. Wonderful, called a horrible virus. 
and now she's feeling so much better. Wonderful. They reduce your symptoms. Exactly, right? That's what it's all about. Anti-inflammatory, healing, gut healing, anti-inflammatory, um, immune boosting. This is, I'm not going to say it's the wonder tea, but it's wonderful. <laughs> all right, guys. I am going to be seeing you guys really, really soon. Thank you for joining me. And please stay safe, stay well, stay healthy. Keep calm, keep cooking. All right, guys. Bye-bye.